One of the great things that you can do on your smart board is that you have this whiteboard feature, right? So if you go right here to this whiteboard, this will then uh, create a whiteboard template that you can use both of your um, pens or you can use one pen, it doesn't matter. And you have dual um, pen technology so you can write on the board or have two people write on the board um, at the same time. To get rid of this, you can use your hand to erase or um, many of the boards are equipped with erasers that can do the exact same thing to go ahead and to erase. I like also that it has the ability to decipher uh, written text. So if I put down this word, now I can tap on this word right here. I can tap right here and I can say convert to text and then it automatically put it up there for me. That's great. I can also tap on the text right here and do what is called a duplicate. So I can duplicate different things or one of my favorites, I can use what is called the infinite cloner. The infinite cloner is exactly that. You can just keep on pulling all of these different words all over the place. So maybe you have you know, true or false statements, um, maybe you have vocabulary words that you're using, um, maybe you have check marks even. You could draw check marks and uh, draw those and put them up. Now, how do I get rid of all this? Well, I can simply go and, and do this one at a time, which be a little bit of a pain or I can tap right here on this dotted line and go over and highlight all of my text and then hit delete. Now you'll notice that this one iPad did not go away because it has this infinite cloner symbol right here. So I can go ahead and disable the infinite cloner and then I can hit delete. Now if I accidentally did something, this board has an undo button right here. So I can hit undo or I can hit redo. Either one works. I can also add objects, so if I wanted to add, you know, content such as pictures, or if I wanted to add little widgets right here, I could do that. One of the, my favorites is the ruler, so you can add a ruler here, you can tap on the ruler, and then you can adjust the size, and even tap on here and adjust the angle. So let me just move this. So one of my other favorite things that you can do is add objects on here. So as you can see, I have uh, right here where you could add things like such as a ruler. So I can add the ruler, I can tap on my ruler right here, and then I can adjust the size. I can even adjust the angle too. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tap on the ruler. And as you can see right here, I'm gonna tap and I can move this ruler angle-wise and it keeps track of the angle too. I can add additional pages, so I can go right here, I can add another whiteboard page, and there's all sorts of different paper that I can go with uh, right here. I like the bricks, that's kind of neat. And I can also add, by hitting the plus sign, graphic organizers. So you have your graphic organizers right here, and you have many that you can choose from. So for example, if I wanted to do a Venn diagram, I could do this Venn diagram right here and have students collaborate on it. So how do I actually have students collaborate on this? If it's connected to the internet, I can simply tap this button right up here and I can have students go to hellosmart.com, enter in this code, or they can scan the QR code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out my phone and when I take out my phone, I'm gonna use the camera. So typically, you know, you use your camera right here. I'm gonna scan the QR code and then I'm gonna tap on, whoops, let me try this one more time. takes me to smarttech.com. Then what I can do is I can enter in the code right here to join the room number. So it's uh, 291242. Then I can add my name and say that I'm a guest 
Once I add that, it's going to add me into this room. Now, what I'm, what's happening is, is it's making me wait. So it's saying, hey, wait for your teacher. From a teacher standpoint, I'm gonna see anybody that's part of my class right here, and I can then control how students view this. So if I wanna control the pace, or if I want my students to go at whatever pace they want, I can do that. Next, I'm gonna hit start session. Now, when students see this on their device, what they're gonna see is exactly what I see up on my screen. So that might be great for accessibility purposes as well, but right now you can't really interact with this. So as you can see, I have this on my screen. I can't really do a whole lot. You can change that simply by tapping on this, this object, whoops, tapping on this page. So I'm tapping on this icon again. I'm gonna tap on this arrow right here and now I can convert this to a whole class whiteboard activity. So what this means is it's a collaborative activity that all of my students can collaborate on at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, uh, this is a whole class whiteboard activity. I can go ahead and tap on the board and now what I can do is have all my students edit. If I wanna turn off the editing rights, I can simply tap right here and now nobody can edit. So as a student, I'm gonna be able to get on my device, and when I get on my device, I'm now gonna have, right over here, this pen feature. So I can tap on it, and then I can tap on the pen, choose my pen, and as you can see, I'm drawing, and I can add it on there. So that's great from a standpoint of the whole class can collaborate uh, from a whole class activity part. There is the ability to send individual activities to students. There's a different process for that, but this at least gets all the students collaborating at the same time. You could turn this off, and you can even have students up on the board uh, collaborating as well. Now, if students write anything on here, you can go ahead and erase, and once you erase that content, voila, you can uh, add anything else that you want. So this is a great way of collaborating. The other thing too is you could download this. You could save it as a PDF if you want, just in case you wanted that available for a later time. You can even save this um, as a file that you can uh, save a copy. Or one of my favorites right here is being able to just favorite it and it goes right here, okay? So another thing that you have available on the smart board is that you can go right down here to the files button. And when you go to the files button, you can add a folder. So I can type in the name of this folder. So I'm gonna call it sample. And when I do that, then I can take any document that I have by simply holding it and dragging it right in. And it will automatically put all of my whiteboard files in there and any smart board activities that I have by going to Smart Tech or Lumio's website. Uh, in order to uh, get that get that in there in that folder. So I can hit the back button right here and I am good to go. Now the other cool thing about this is that if I'm logged into the smart board, I can go to any smart board in the building, simply log in with my credentials and access that smart board activity.